we all possess an everyday common sense understanding of how the mind works. Philosophers call this common sense understanding folk psychology. When I predict that you are going to wear a coat because it is raining, I'm using folk psychology. When I try and explain why you are going to pour a glass of milk this morning, I'm also using folk psychology. It has traditionally been assumed that the folk psychological conception of how the mind works will turn out to match up with the scientific conception. In my thesis, I offer two arguments for why we should not expect this to happen. Firstly, folk psychological intuitions vary across cultures, and it would be foolish to assume that our own intuitions are superior to those of other people. For instance, European-American cultures tend to place more emphasis on internal causes of behavior, whereas East Asian cultures tend to emphasize external environmental causes. Differences of emphasis like this could have serious repercussions for our scientific theories of how the mind works. A European-American scientist might assume that a certain behavior has an internal cause, whereas in reality, it is a part of an emergent social phenomenon. Secondly, folk psychological concepts are not sufficiently fine-grained to capture the complexities of our best scientific theories of how the mind works. For example, the folk concept of memory has given way to a number of subsidiary categories, such as episodic memory and semantic memory. And the folk taxonomy of the senses has fragmented in ways that we could not have predicted by intuition by itself. A scientific explanation of why you chose to wear your coat today might appeal to very different concepts than my common sense explanation. And folk intuitions typically fail to account for unexpected behavior such as that provoked by common visual illusions. Does this mean that folk psychology is false and that we should get rid of it? I think this response confuses the social role played by folk psychology with its scientific accuracy. When I say that you believe the sky is blue, I'm not making any claim about the precise neural structure of that belief but rather about your coarse grain behavior as a person, that you won't be wearing a coat later, and so on. Accusing folk psychology of scientific inaccuracy misses the point, because scientific accuracy is never what folk psychology was intended for in the first place. Nonetheless, folk psychology is scientifically inaccurate, and so we should take care when applying intuitive folk psychological concepts to scientific problems. Ideally, we should try and come up with new concepts that more accurately capture the systems that we're studying. We can do this by comparing evidence from across a number of different disciplines, including neuroscience, psychology, and anthropology, and converging on concepts that best capture how the mind actually works. In my thesis, I describe a systematic methodology for achieving this convergence, drawing on both quantitative and qualitative techniques. The new concepts developed by this methodology could be almost unrecognizable from our common sense perspective, but they will facilitate a greater understanding of the basic structure of cognition. Over time, they may even have an impact on our everyday conception of the mind, much as the psychoanalytic analytic concept of the unconscious did in the last century. Thank you.